everybody, we're going to be playing Let's Go Eevee. I'm Rosie. I'm Argle Fox. We are playing Let's Go Eevee. We are going to be playing the whole entire game. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a lot of fun. Um, Rosie here is a big fan of uh, Pokemon, and I particularly like this game. Uh... <laughs> Because it's easy, part of the reason why. I, I found it way easier than uh, Pokemon Yellow. What? What? Eevee jumps out of the TV. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> so, so, uh, we're going to follow Eevee into the magical world of Pokemon. Uh, we're going to play in English. And we're going to begin the game. So the introduction here is going to be pretty typical for a Pokemon game. What? It's like almost word for word the same as Pokemon Platinum. The professor says, hello, nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. I'm the Pokemon professor. So Pokemon uh, stands for Pocket Monster. And uh, they just hide in little balls that you keep in your pocket. Wow, look at my... Machoke, and there's a Psyduck, all, all sorts of crazy wild uh, creatures. Okay. So, uh, which character are we going to play? What, what do we look like? Girl, Girl character? Yeah. Which one? Blonde? Um, dark uh, hair? Dark uh, hair? The top one? Yeah. Top one. All right. And what's the name for our girl character? Um, Roseanne. All right. We're going to play as Roseanne. We almost always choose this name, guys. Nothing wrong with wanting to use your own name. Yeah. I mean, I could try playing as Argolfumpf, but that'd be hard to spell. <laughs> Argolfumpf. Okay. Oh. Uh, Roseanne's going to have a rival character who lives next door. We're calling him Gary Jeff. All right, Gary Jeff. Oh, also, why we the first name is... You know why the first name is Gary? Because in the traditional, in the traditional Pokemon show, in the traditional Pokemon show, there's Gary Oak, but he's not going to be the Professor Scrabble. I was thinking Jeff, but we call him Gary. Gary Jeff. Yeah, we call him Gary because he's the rival, and that's the name of the rival in Pokemon Yellow and the original Pokemon TV show. Pokemon Angel. Yeah, this game is kind of based on, based on those things. Kind of based on the anime. Kind of based on the uh, TV Pokemon show. Yellow, kind of based on Pokemon Yellow, and kind of based on Pokemon Go. Let's so go. Let's, let's go. go. Let's get started. I'm blind. I'm blind. No, no, you're not blind. You're just, just. Oh, I'm blind. Wait, wait. Here we are. Real? I'm a real boy. Oh boy. Pinocchio is so happy. We're not Pinocchio. No, we're not Pinocchio. We're playing as Roseanne and um she's going to be the very best like no one ever was. So here's her rival. Uh Gary Jeff is a bit nicer than Gary Oak. Gary Oak is a jerk. I couldn't wait to get you. Today's the big day. We're going to get our first Pokemon and become real Pokemon trainers. But before you do, do you want to check your computer and your email real quick? You, you should check my email. I sent you an email. It's very important. It's not an important email. We're totally going to skip it. But, like, Gary's the kind of guy who will come over to your house to ask, Hey, did you get the email I sent yesterday? Oh, and here's Mom. Uh, if you go to Professor Oak's lab, like Gary Jeff said, you would get the, your own Pokemon. So, believe it or not, we're not going to start by going to uh, Professor Oak's lab. We're actually going to start by going north of Pallet Town. That's the name of this town. It's not a very big town. We have a, a few families here. Yeah. Oh, she has Pokemon, too. This is the lab. I don't know who this guy is. Technology is incredible. You can connect your phone to this video game. <laughs> what won't they think of next? 
Yeah, so this, this building is the, the professor's house. Uh, our house is this one in the upper left. And the upper right is Gary's house. Here's his sister. Oh, hi, Roseanne. Looking for Gary Jack. Do you want to teach you how to do mist control? Is he going to Professor Oak's lab with you? I like the big sister. She's really cool. She's so nice. Yeah. Uh, we can't go south of town because, uh, well, there's a fence in the way. And, and water. And also, we can go south of town, but we need something special. Yeah, yeah, later on we'll be able to uh, yeah. go south. We're not going to tell you what that special thing is. But... Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that, like, much later on in our video walkthrough. So we go north of town instead of going south to meet Professor Oak. If you go to his lab, he's not there. That, that's why we just went north. Save some time. I think I understand you all a bit better, Pidgey. Pidgey, you're so amazing. Whoa, if it isn't Roseanne! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, of course. I promised to give you and Gary Jeff your Pokemon today. Well, in that case, let's just head over to... Hmm? What? What's this? Eevee. I'm doing this after Eevee. You encountered a wild Eevee. My, my, I surely wouldn't have expected an Eevee to appear around here. But since the opportunity has presented itself, let's practice Pokemon catching. Just need to throw a Pokeball and land it on the Pokemon to catch it. Very similar to Pokemon Go, the phone game. Although I'm playing on the Nintendo Switch, so I've got motion controls. I get to pretend I'm throwing a Pokeball but I don't want to accidentally let go of the remote and destroy my TV. <laughs> I also don't want to hit you with my uh, remote. That would be sad. Um, yeah. You know what? It's not a remote! Did it say remote or did it say controller? Controller. Okay. We can call it a controller instead of a remote. I think both are just fine. That was a pretty fine performance for a first-timer, my girl! Ha-ha! <laughs> Why don't you pick up the Pokeball and give that Eevee a name? Huh? What in the... Well, that's really weird. That's a lively Pokemon if I've ever seen one. So, as you can guess, we get a very... We get a very special Eevee. Because this game is called Let's Go Eevee. So, she's going to be our very special partner. She's going to be... Fantastic. And that's why, that's why she's being weird instead of doing the typical Pokemon thing of just hiding in the Pokeball until summoned. Professor Oak, I thought there were only two Pokeballs a moment ago, but now there are three! Oh, well, one of them's an Eevee that Roseanne caught just now. Wait, you caught it yourself? That's you... probably Eevee there. I've never seen that happen before. Ho, ho, ho! How interesting. Well, my girl, this is it. Take the Pokeball and keep good hold of it this time. So, if you take the wrong one, see? Uh, I think you're going for the wrong one, pal. Yeah, yeah. We don't go. Yeah, we, we can't take the Pikachu. We've got to take the Eevee. We can't take the Pikachu. What Pokemon do you think he would have got? Well, one of them's a Pikachu. I don't know, the other's probably just a Mewtwo. I don't know, something boring like that. <laughs> or maybe it's a magic carp. Anyway, look! Eevee and Roseanne are officially friends! So cute! Eevee is just adorable. Yep. Hmm, it doesn't want to stay in one place. It looks like it loves you, Roseanne. Uh, what name do you want to give Eevee? Cinnamon! Alright, let's go with Cinnamon. Oh. What a great name for her. If you don't know how to spell Cinnamon, do Yep. Cinnamon has been added to my purse. And then Gary gets the, the Mewtwo? Pikachu. Oh, no, he got the Pikachu. Okay, never mind. For a new trainer to catch your first Pokemon yourself. Wow, that's pretty amazing. 
really cute. Pikachu's just what I wanted. Yeah, Gary didn't catch his own Pokemon himself. He was just given it as a present. Oh, I want your help with something. You need a Pokedex. And 700 Pokeballs. Hello, I am Dexter, the Pokedex. I have 700 Pokeballs for you. What? Basically, it just keeps a log of all the Pokemon that we, we catch. Let's call our Pokedex Dexter. All right. No, let's call him Rotom Dex. Ooh. Rotom is not in this game, guys. Sounds Pokemon. Yep, because it's based on, like, Pokemon Yellow in the original anime. It's only got the first 150 Pokemon. Well, we're calling our Dex Rotom Dex. I'm old now. Oh, the professor's complaining he couldn't live his dream, so he's uh, living his dream vicariously through us. I'm gonna go right now. Uh, Roseanne, if you think you're ready, woohoo. Alright, so let's capture some Pokemon. That's basically how we start the game. We're just gonna go out, capture some Pokemon. Oh, cute. This is when you got some uh, no, Mom, I caught it myself. Like you caught yourself? That's amazing! I am amazing. What should I call you? Is that cinnamon? This is a lovely Pokemon! Ah, ah, My name is Janet! Means you can that I suppose that means you could be staying out in bed today, right? I thought this day might come so soon, so I planned ahead and I got this. And got this for you. She got a map, which is very useful. Thanks, Mom. When you bring that kind of in your bag, you'll know exactly where you are. Yeah, I'll share you and some nimble will be... You and some be good to each other. Yep, I mean, I'll show off the map. In a moment. Gotta wait for this scene to finish. There we go. Emma! So we just open our bag. And uh, here's our town map. Right here. So it says, we're right here. We're at Pallet Town, right? That's what the happy face means. We're here. Uh, uh -huh. We couldn't go south on Route 21 to Cinnabar Island. So we're going to have to go uh -huh. north on Route 1 to Viridian City. Then we'll go on Route 2 to Viridian Forest. And uh, still more Route 2 until we reach Pewter City. That's where we start. We basically just go straight up at the start. Uh, it gets more oh, confusing Barbie. later on in the game where you can go, like, four different directions at once. And we can't turn that away because someone's gonna be... Some, and when we reach Paylor Town, someone's gonna be blocking the way so we can't get home. I see. So okay, can... so we are going to... We've got some wild Pokemon just wandering around in the grass here. That's what Pokemon do. Let's capture some of them. We're going to capture a bell sprout and a Pidgey. We kind of made a plan ahead of time as to which Pokemon we'll get. But and we can all, we can't, that we're just going to have the ones in our, they're for the ones in our party, not the ones that were, not the one, we can still catch for Taddy, even if it's not on our list to be in our party. Sure can. Yeah, we're going to catch all the wild Pokemon around here, but they're not going to come from all the way. Well, they're just going to be immediately automatically playing with her. Let's get that Mortada. Yeah, there are three different Pokemon here in this first area. Uh, part of the reason we need to be a little concerned about the party, not yet, but we will eventually need to be concerned about the party, is that you can only have six Pokemon in your party at once. And guess what? There's about 10 Pokemon uh, in between the, the start of the game and the first gym. So that means uh, you, you can get about half of the Pokemon. Not all of them, just about half of them. Or you could do something wild, like say, I'm in love with Bellsprout. And I just want six Bellsprouts in my party. You could do that. You could totally do that. Just do whatever you want. Or you can try and get the whole entire game. With one Pokemon, include with only one type of Pokemon in your party, and only catching that type. Yeah, you can do that never, challenge. Yeah, it's so hard to do the game with Rotatas because 
So probably, because then you'll have to do Pewter City Gym, like, over and over again. Yeah. I think sometime in the future I'll try to do a video series of just, like, beating the game with just one Pokemon. I did a practice with Jester Rattata, and it was really, really difficult. Yes, especially on the first gym, too. Yeah, yeah, Rattata's weakness is the first gym, but we'll worry about the first gym when we get to the first gym, and then we'll talk about types and weaknesses and all sorts of confusing information. Uh, part of the reason I like this game is that it doesn't throw all that confusing information at you here at the start. Like, here, it's just simple. You could catch Pokemon, have fun. We've only got three different types of Pokemon here, and we caught one of each. Also... Uh... Oh, what were you going to say? Something I need to tell you guys is there are two Pokemon in that game that are not rare at all. That's, there are three Pokemon that aren't rare at all. It's Rattata, he wanders around almost everywhere. Mm -hmm. Pidgey, almost everywhere. And then Spearow, almost everywhere. Yeah, some Pokemon just appear everywhere in the game. And oh, let me oh. show that off by uh, showing off that Pokedex that the professor gave us. Here's what the Pokedex looks like. This is so it's got a list of all the Pokemon. I've gotten, I've only seen four Pokemon. And uh, you can check the habitat of Pokemon. This says, where do the Pokemon live? Look at all the places where Pidgeys live. What? They this? live basically everywhere except Route 22. And Cinnabar uh, in the areas. Of yeah, they don't. They don't Where's, live near the okay. ocean. Okay. Oh, don't be shocked with this Rattata. Eat. Where does Rattata? Rattata lives almost uh, as many places as Pidgey. He lives on Cinnabar Island. Yep, yep, yep. Bunch and of radicates there, and then Bellsprout. Okay. Let's see where Bellsprout lives. Not very many places. I'm not as many. Let me count. One, two. Basically, just this straight line uh, is where Bellsprout this straight lives. Line, this straight line, that small upper area, and then. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And then let's see where Eevee lives. Just there. So Eevee only appears on Route 17. So Eevee just is in this one spot. It's a very big spot, but. I bet she was able to go through. Go from there, run through the trees and into Pallet Town. Oh, is that how she managed to... She Maybe. just managed to... That's how she showed up, but... Yeah, that's why the professor was surprised to see Evie here. Evie doesn't usually hang out here. She never hangs out here. Alright. Except our Evie, our Evie. This is for you to see. No gems, though, guys. Oh, uh, there is a gem. Wait, what? Uh, this is Viridian City. Uh, yeah, that's the first city. Uh, oh, yeah. Not very big. Oh, there are two kinds of Caterpillar Pokemon. Uh, we will get one of them. Caterpie. Weedle. Weedle Ooh, and Caterpie. Did Eevee find something? He's happy. He's flying the cinnamon flowers. Cinnamon is staring at the flowers. So this is a, a healing station. Uh, if you need healing, you go there. Your Pokemon get healing. This guy says we could go to the Pokemart and buy uh, Pokeballs. And who are these three guys? That's Jesse, James, and Meow. Team Rocket! They're Team. doing a guard duty or something. Me oh, also Meow talks in they they Meow talks in the show, but not in the game. So lame, right guys? Yeah, I wish Meowth got to talk. That would be cool. And if we want, we could go left to Route 22, but we're not supposed to. Oh, uh, wait, let's do it. Spearow! This is where we get some new Pokemon. Here's, Here's a Spearow. It's a Spearow. Um, it's a tiny bird Pokemon. Its evolution is Spearow. Spearow is very creepy. It, it does inspire fear in my heart. And, uh, I, I wasn't yawning. Uh, I, let's talk about experience points. When you catch Pokemon in this game, you get experience. And that's basically the way the game expects you to, um, get experience is by catching Pokemon. Oh, Bellsprout learned to grow. Wait, what are you 
Which one's Brad? One of them. So it learns a brand new move because it's uh, leveled up. That happens sometimes. If your Pokemon levels up, sometimes it will get new moves. Or sometimes they want to forget moves. Sometimes they want to forget moves as well. So uh, later new on, moves. when we have the ability to go on water, we'll be able to grab... Ooh. Here's a Nidoran. So we're getting a female Nidoran. That was on the list of Pokemon we want to get. It's a girl. Mm-hmm. The boys are purple. Uh, the other one, other one on our list is Caterpie and Bulbasaur, and we won't get that in this, this video. They'll be on the next video uh, when we go to the forest. Ready and for it! Mm-hmm. And then Bellsprout, Nidorian, Pidgey, Caterpie, and Bulbasaur are, is what we are going to catch. Yep, they'll, they'll be our uh, main party members. And Eevee. All right, so let's. Oh, there's another. Let's let me capture this. We're gonna get. We're gonna get three of these guys, and. Oh, we're getting three of them. Yeah, they're they uh, they're evolutions. Remember? Oh, Nidorian, oh, okay. Nidoria, Nino Queen. I, I was gonna save that for when we got a Caterpie, because, like I said. It does get confusing if you throw way too much information at people at once, and I'm glad the game doesn't do that. It gives us plenty of time to wander around and explore. Yeah. I'm not Don't! Didn't mean to, to run into Spiro. We don't want a Spiro. Oh, boy! Boy, boy, boy! Yep, there's the boy, uh, Nidoran. Yep. Pokeballs do we have? Um, the game gives you a lot at the start. Seven million thousand. Not seven million thousand, but definitely a lot. Like fifty or so. The professor just slipped us slipped a bunch of Pokeballs in our pocket when we weren't looking. Like, you have no so uh, this one technically counts as a different species, uh, according to your Pokemon index. So over here is the uh, Pokemon League. Yeah, at the very end of the game, we'll be going through here. We can. And we'll be entering the championships. But but you don't have a Boulder badge, so you can't go through. Uh huh. We need all of our dramatics to be good. Now let me show off our party. Let's see. Uh, I want to show off the statistics, but I don't think we have any Pokemon that are the same level. So let's. Get these two swapped. And catch more Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Daddy! What? Oh yeah, Eevee can... Oh, I forgot to tell you... I forgot to tell... Pokemon can travel by your, their Pokeballs. If they get stuck, they'll just travel by their Pokeballs. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Yeah, so Team Rocket's guard duty. I think... Can we sneak around them, like, going here? No, there's a tree in the way. But at least I found a potion by the tree. On Later the, on, we'll get the ability to cut the cut down those small trees. On the third gym, then we can able to sneak past Team Rocket. Yeah, so Sneak Rocket... I mean, Team Rocket isn't going to let us pass... So the only real place... Oh, uh, whose house is this? It's just some random guy's house. Oh, this is a trainer school. We can learn about being a trainer and all sorts of things. Bulletin boards, all sorts of books. Whew. This seems complicated. So instead of that, we're going to head over here to the Pokemart. And he has a parcel for us. He wants us to deliver to uh, Professor Oak. We're 
we're not going to go straight back to the lab yet. I want to show off the Pokemart. This is what it looks like. They're all basically the same. You can buy items. Because we just started the game, we have very basic items. Like Pokeballs, potions. Potions will heal you. Pokeballs are for capturing it. We've got 42 Pokeballs. Get 10 more. Oh. And we got a bonus ball, a premier ball. Yeah, if you buy 10 or, or more, then you'll get a premier ball. Mm hmm. And if you get 20, you get 2. If you get 30, you get 3. If you get 40, so on and so You get 4, so on and so if forth. If you get 100, you get 10. Yep. Why would we do that? Alright, let's capture some more bell sprouts, I guess. What? No. Okay, three bell sprouts is enough. Already. Yeah, I'm I'm just trying to show off uh, the Pokemon levels, so I'm trying to get um you know, show off how different Pokemon there we go. We'll show it off right right after this. Well oh, Rattata learned quick attack, good for Rattata. Let's go to our party now. So we have two different uh, level four of these characters, and they are probably not going to be the same. Like, we check their details. They See how they have different stats? One has an extra defense, one has a, an extra attack power. Yeah, I think this, this one is the stronger one, I think. So let's let... Uh, let's have that. No, no! <laughs> Yikes. That's a stronger one, so we're going to keep this one in our party. Why do we have... Do we want to capture some extra Pidgeys or no? Two extra Pidgeys. Yeah, we've got... How many Bell Sprouts do we have? Three. Two. Thir three. Three is enough. Yes, three. And it's like, I wonder which one of them uh, is the strongest. And if you got Pokemon you don't want anymore, you can always send it to the professor, like this. Send to professor. The professor will often give you a reward. Candy. It's a healthy candy. Don't send any more. And yeah, you can feed candy to your Pokemon. Not like that, but like this. You go to your bag, you go to your candy jar, and it increases your HP by one. Give it to Nidoran. All right, and then I'm gonna capture some more Bell Sprouts. Um, that's basically going to be the rest of the video is me capturing a bunch of bell sprouts. So uh, feel free to skip ahead to the next video because that's all I'm going to do right now. Why are you going to catch a million bell sprouts? I'm, I want to get a bell sprout chain going on, and then in the next video we'll explain about chains and show it off. That way we can get the Bulbasaur in the forest. Okay. You need a chain to get a Bulbasaur. Yep. A chain is like a really. Like where you catch a bunch, the same type of Pokemon in a whole entire row. In this case, it's like 10 Pokemon we have to get. Um, let's see, Ten so which bells. Bellsprouts? The Bellsprout needs to be level 7. So let me move my Bellsprouts next to each other. That way it'll be easier to tell which one is the strongest. Easy fell asleep. Easy fell asleep. <laughs> easy, easy, so something. Also, don't come. If I see anyone complaining about not fighting Pokemon before catching them, then I'm gonna be okay because this is based on Pokemon Go. That's on that. Yep. Yeah. So. It shouldn't be too tough to collect a bunch of bell sprout. Evie found something there, right? 
Oh, a raspberry. Nice. 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 Good job, Evie. No, no. We don't want you, Rattata. See, if we catch a Rattata, that will mess up our chain. So I will not capture it. Nope, there's another bell sprout. I know, it's kind of boring getting a chain, but that's why I picked a bell sprout, which appears a lot. Rattatas also appear a lot. And hey, this is a great way for Cinnamon, Pidgey, and um, Nidoran to get experience. Do you want to get names for those characters or no? Mm, yeah. All right, what name do you want for Pidgey and Nidoran? Um, Nidoran. Um, I like Nidoran because he's, um, Bluebell. Okay. And Pidgey because he's Pecker. Okay. I oh, almost got those bell sprouts level seven. <laughs> That's five in a row. If you don't have the Pokemon that you want to appear, you can just wait. Or you can go inside a building and leave the building and then. It will change the Pokemon. That will definitely reset those Pokemon. Alright. Ch change their names. Um, Pecky. Pecker, sorry. Peck. Peck. Nope, they don't like that name. And then Bluebell. Bluebell. What name are we going to use for Bellsprout when we figure out which one we like best? Um, we're going to use Dandelion. I probably like Dandelion. Yeah, Dandelion. that sounds like a good name. Yeah. After all, they're yellow. Mm-hmm. Mirror move. I wonder if that's a fancy move. Well, what type of mirror move? Do you think it's a psychic move? Isn't it just a move where you just repeat whatever your uh, opponent does? Mm -hmm. Like a mirror? Mm -hmm. Ah, come on, Bell Sprouts. Maybe you can be that special Pokemon by going to Professor Oak's lab and giving him the first one. Nope, there's one there. Yeah, but that involves that if we do that, it'll be a scene. And stuff's going to happen, and I don't, I don't want to have that in this video. I already promised that would be the next video. Okay, how many Bell Sprouts in a row is this? Oh boy, Cinnamon learned Double Kick. Uh, what move should be replaced with Double Kick? Gosh, we don't even haven't even seen any of her uh, moves yet. Oh dear. Can't watch this. Bell, Bell Sprout, and that Bell Sprout. That Bell Sprout too. Catch combo seven. All right, three more. Eight, nine, ten. Three more. Let's check our uh, bell sprouts now. 
This one has a CP of 45, this one's 44. This one's 41, this one's 42. So I guess the one, the first one was in fact the best. What were you going to call it? Um, Dandelion? Dandelion. Pekka would have been a really good name. Why don't they like Pekka? Pekka mm. is a bean. Pekka is a bean. I know. That's just so sad they didn't like that name. Thanks. Still like it. Hm. Oh, there's another bell sprout. How many row is this now? Eight. Wow. Yep, that's eight. Two more. Two more is ten, yes. Two plus three equals ten. Remember that. Okay, I'll remember it. Yeah, no luck. Damn why I'm under wrap. You under wrap? Good new move. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Nine plus four wait, this is ten row, right? Yeah, this is going to be 10. 9 Ooh. plus 1 equals 10. Mama Oh, that's good. Now I'm going to do some party management here. Just a little bit of party management. Uh, let's just get rid of all our new Pokemon. Um... <laughs> Yep. Wait. We're not going to use those other ones, so uh, we're just going to send them. I still want to um, catch them. Ooh, wow, look, I got Mighty Candy X and Mighty Candy XL. Why? Game thinks I did a really amazing thing when sending those Pokemon to uh, the professor. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, so now we have a bunch of more, a bunch of new candy. Mighty candy. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Quick candy, too. Is it okay for you to use all the candy on the cinnamon? Yep. Alright, sounds good. She's the most important. But you notice it gets kind of boring to use like 10 at once. I kind of wish you could just use 10 at once instead of having to use it 10 times in a row. Maybe if you could just, maybe it's just the game is like, how many money I use? And I think you're All right, there we go. All right, thanks for watching our video, everybody. Bye. Bye.